guys, thank you for watching my channel, All Things Amanda. I am Amanda, and today I wanted to show you my Victoria's Secret inspired hair routine. Now, I'm not saying I'm a professional, but this is the way that I do it. I actually don't own a curling iron. I had one once, and this was a few weeks ago, and when I tried it, I burned my neck. So from now on, I'm only using straighteners. Unless someone teaches me a proper way to use my curling iron, this is my favorite way to curl my hair. Now, I know I have a towel on my head. I've been drying my head for a few hours, or not my head, I've been drying my hair for a few hours now. Um, I don't like using the blow dryer too much because it's very damaging for your hair um, if you do it too much. So I just let my hair air dry. So this is how my hair is naturally. It is very curly, very frizzy. I have a lot of it. Now I am going to start by dividing my hair. I always pin it off in little sections because it is so thick. And I put half of it up, half of it down. And I split that into two as well. It's a lot easier to detangle your hair when it's divided into sections instead of brushing it all the way through. And the most important step before applying any sort of heat to your hair is thermal protection. Now this is the Redken Iron Shape 11 Heat Styling Thermal Spray. I've been using this for a couple of years now. I love it and it smells really good as well. Now these pieces are still actually pretty thick, so I'm going to divide those into another section. And then another trick that I've learned over the past few years of doing this with my hair is to brush it as you straighten it because then it gets all of the little pieces instead of just going over it like this with a straightener. It still kind of keeps them curly. You don't want to straighten it too much because then you're flattening out the curl. So then I hold it like this and then I twist it. Keep your hand still here and just slide it down all the way through. And then it gives you like a little light wave of a curl. This will forever be my favorite hairspray. This is the Aussie Headstrong Volume 3 Maximum Hold. And then I just spritz a little bit after, just to hold it in place. So that's it for the first layer. And you definitely want to make sure that the straightener that you do have has a smooth outer layer because there are some that are rubberized and it'll tear your hair as you go through. Another helpful tip is to get the wet brush. And the bristles are very, very soft, so they bend as it goes through your hair. So it's good for wet hair because when your hair is wet, it's a lot weaker than when it is dry and it's easy to tear out. Now that piece is too thick to get the whole thing into the curl, so I'm just going to split that off and finish the same thing on the other strand. That's a really good one. For some reason, this side of my head curls a lot better than this side. I think it's because of the angle. I'm usually a lefty. I use both. I usually write with my right hand and then do everything with my left hand, so that could be why. Now with this side of my head, I never do this together in one, um, so that way it gives layers in the front of your face. So I just flip that off, flip that one back. And always be careful to keep the straightener away from your skin. Um, so I definitely want to get my roots, but not too close. And it also still gives it kind of some more volume too. Sometimes you'll get this crease from the straightener. I just kind of go back over it to make it disappear a little bit more. If not, it kind of just disappears into the hairstyle anyway. Sorry, my battery died and I got hungry. So you're almost done. And then I give my whole head a spray just to lock it into place. 
and my next step is very important and I have been doing this since I was in high school. So I just go through it with my fingers separating. Not too much. You still want to leave some of these down because we're not done just yet. And I separate my hair here and get my teasing comb. Spray the root here. And then I just go back. And I spray it again. I do that about three different times, a few different layers. And this gives my hair extra volume. I'm obsessed with big hair. And whenever it starts to look flat, I just whip this out. So that's two, and then I'll do one little more, just so it supports the other two on top. And then I actually do this to my whole head. And then you're left with this. So then I use an anti-frizz serum. This one is just from Garnier. There's a bunch of different brands. I personally think they work all the same. Uh, it's definitely good for dry, frizzy hair, which I do have. So I just rub it through my hands and then use my fingers to comb everything out and smooth down before I touch the brush again. And then I go back through with my brush and just lightly shape it out. And you don't want to press too hard because you don't want to get rid of the lifted roots that you just did with the teasing comb. You want to make sure you get the back as well or have someone nearby help you because sometimes there's little pieces like this one here that you miss. So then afterwards it kind of looks like this and I call this helmet head where it's like flat at the top and it starts to keep on the side. So then I go back through now that it's all shaped out. and then go closer to your, your part. Thank you so much guys for watching my very first video. I hope that it was helpful for most of you. Um, I plan on having a lot more videos coming soon, not just on hair or makeup, but on other things as well, um, just on my life in general. So please like, subscribe, tell your friends, uh, and keep watching. Thank you.